Hey everybody and welcome to this video about how you can normalize a relational data model. We have this um, this RDM here that uh, we will use to normalize and basically normalization is uh, is about how we can um, how we can optimize the database. It is about um, assuring the quality uh, of your database design and uh, an important part is that we can avoid, we should avoid or minimize redundancy and inconsistency. So we need to avoid extra data, duplicate data, uh, null data. Um, and if we should take a quick look at how a denormalized data could look like, this is a good example where we have a lot of null values. Uh, we just have one table. And we have uh, we haven't split it in in any uh, further tables. To normalize something, we uh, well we have six normal forms, but I'm I'm gonna normalize this to uh, to the third normal form. And during this normalization process, we look at the tables one by one. So if we we should take a look at the first normal form, each table must have a primary key. All attributes must be atomic, uh, simple, indivisible, and we can't have any multi-valued or composite attributes. So if we take a look at our tables here, we can see that employee, um, we have a primary key, and we only have uh, atomic parts. We did have some composite attributes when we made this relational data model, but we only chose the simple parts. Uh, we also have a primary key here. It's a combined primary key uh, consisting of employee ID and project ID. And when we have the hours, we also have a primary key here. Name, we have also a name on the department. We have a location, uh, name right here. And we don't have any multi-valued attributes. Well, actually we did have one on the location uh, for department, but when we convert the ER diagram into uh, the relational data model, we created a new table. Um, so we didn't have the multi-valued anymore. So this should satisfy the first normal form. If we take a look at the second normal form, we can see here the table must satisfy the first normal form. And then furthermore, all non-key attributes must be dependent on the full primary key. And most often this could be a problem if you have a combined primary key we can see here that uh, in the employee table we only have one uh, primary key and they all depend on that. In the works on, which is actually a many-to-many -many table, we have a combined primary key. But we can see that uh, this is the working hours that an employee works on a project. So this is also dependent on both of these, these columns here. We have one primary key here, we have one for the location one for the department that they're dependent on. So our relational data model should also uh, satisfy the second normal form. And this takes us to the third one. Third normal form says that the table should be on the second normal form. And furthermore, and that is important, no attributes must depend on other attributes that are not primary keys. And if we take a look here, we can see that this is okay here. This is okay, we only have one, um, one attribute here. This is okay. The department is also okay. The employee, first name, initials, last name, gender, birth date. Street is okay. Postal code city. Uh, this could be a problem because postal code and city are actually dependent on each other and they are, uh, they are not keys. They are not primary key or foreign keys. If we change the postal code, then the city will change as well. So city depends on postal code. So how do we handle that? One way to do that is to create a new table. And put it in here. We can call it postal code. And we will put in here, let's see. Postal code. And then we will put the city. So we have the postal code, we have the city. And then we can remove the city from the employee table. Uh, let's see if we can delete that one there. And furthermore, we need to connect these two tables. So we need to make this a primary, oh, sorry, a foreign key. And it should reference the postal code. And we're just going to make this 
bone here. And finally we can we can make a connection to that. So now we can see here if we can make this correctly. All right. So now we have the postal code that is a foreign key referencing the postal code table and then we have the city and this will prevent us from having duplicate data in the employee table because we only have one table of the city all right this actually concludes our normalization process we have uh, normalized our table to the third normal form and this will um, this will ensure that our database is optimized to a certain level Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.